The biggest challenge in this ecosystem is that most of the media spend goes to technology providers, instead of publishers. Indeed, ad tech vendors such as DSPs, ad servers, ad exchanges, DMPs, and SSPs all take a cut from the advertiser's media buying budget. Because of this situation, publishers end up receiving somewhere between 20% and 40% of the original media spend. Over the last years, advertisers and publishers have been complaining about this ad tech tax. The truth is that publishers could have generated more revenue, and advertisers could have spent less money on buying media. However, since ad tech vendors provide the necessary infrastructure and technology, they have to get somehow paid. But let's see in greater detail how ad tech vendors eat into media budgets. For this example, let's assume that an advertiser's media budget is $1,000 per month. The advertiser has agreed to pay a 15% fee of his media spend to their DSP. That situation leaves them with $850 for media buying. His ad server also gets a cut of 1%, leaving $840 for media buying. In addition to that, if the advertiser wants to target third-party audience segments, there will be an additional cost of 35% for doing that, which leaves $546 for media buying. On top of that, if the advertiser uses an ad verification solution to protect campaigns against ad fraud, that vendor could charge 2% of the media budget, leaving $535 for media spend. Next, the ad exchange charges 10%, leaving $482 for media buying. After that, the SSP charges a 15% fee, and the ad server of the publisher another 1% fee, leaving $405 for the publisher. In this example, we have seen that 60% of the media budget went to ad tech vendors, while only 40% reached the publisher. Obviously, ad tech vendors may charge different fees, as those generally depend on how much the advertiser is committed to spend, as well as his negotiation skills. In addition to that, there might be more vendors involved in the media buying and selling process, such as the creative management platform and the ad order management system, each charging additional fees. Advertisers and publishers who want to have a more granular view of the fees they pay to their ad tech partners can use the fee transparency calculator provided by the Interactive Advertising Bureau. Now, let's see how that calculator works. Firstly, you can find this calculator by searching for IAB Free Transparency Calculator on any search engine. Let's assume that as an advertiser, I want to run a display campaign. My target CPM is $6, and my budget is $100,000. By scrolling down, I can now select the ad tech vendors I am using. As you can see, the first option is ad blocking, which refers to a technology that blocks ad delivery when there are ad fraud, brand safety, or viewability issues. I am selecting display as a channel, and CPM as a cost model. Let's assume that I have agreed to pay $0.25 cents per CPM to that vendor. Next, I am selecting Ad Serving, because I am using an ad server where I store and track my creative assets. Let's say the cost of that service is $0.05 cents per CPM. After that, I select the data slash targeting option, because I want to use third-party audience segments. Let's say that the cost of this service is $3 per CPM. Then, I am selecting DSP technology. Since my agreement with the DSP vendor is to pay a fee of 18% of my media spend, I select percentage of media as the cost model, and insert the 18% fee here. Now, let's assume that the publisher uses an ad server and pays 5 cents per CPM. Also, suppose that the publisher uses a supply-side platform, with which he agreed to pay 10% on the sold media.
Now we can see the results of that calculation. Wow, it seems that 84% of the media budget went to the ad tech vendors, while only 16% went to the publisher. In other words, the publisher got only $16,000 out of $100,000. To combat this huge issue, some startups have started creating decentralized peer-to-peer advertising systems using the blockchain technology. Those systems will be designed to allow advertisers and publishers to trade at inventory programmatically while getting rid of all middlemen. I will explain more about this blockchain technology later on in this course.